Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Gifford Gymnasium here on a Tuesday afternoon here at Wayne Hills High School as the Wayne Hills Patriots basketball team looks to take on the Ramsey Rams. I'm Andrew Guy alongside me, David Suntub, Jason Walfon. Gentlemen, off to a 1-5 start. What do the Patriots have to do early on to get themselves into the game? Well, they have a lot of talent on this team, but it's a very young team. So what they have to do is they have to get better shots. They have to work the ball around and find open shots, and they really have to play good defense. Well, the main thing to watch for in this game is the trifecta for Wayne Hill. Steve Lacarica, Joe Russo, and Scott Schultz. Steve Lacarica has elusiveness off the dribble to score points, and his court vision to find the open man, Andrew, is just amazing. Van Harlan inbounds it to Lynch, who gives it up to Weinberg. Back to Van Armlaven. Kick there by Lala. The Patriots are trying to be aggressive in the early going, as you saw Travis Dalvolpe and Steve Lacarica trying to work the trap, trying to get an early turnover and hopefully get an easy basket. Kicked out there to Van Hummelen. Hummelen to Weinberg. Getting trapped there at the top by Lacarica and Del Volpe. Kicked it to Birdie. Travel called on the play, so now the Patriots get the ball for their first possession. Let's talk about Ramsey for a second. The two main scorers are Scott Peterson and Kevin Birdie. Scott Peterson averaging 18 per game on the season, and Kevin Birdie, the guard, averaging 14 per game. Schultz gets the ball at the top of the key to Lacarica. Down to Lala, back to Schultz. Schultz puts it up, no good. So the Rams take it up, kicked it out to Weinberg. Great pass there by Chris Lala. He saw Scott Schultz cutting to the hole, but Scott just couldn't finish. Put back there by number 51, Scott Peterson, the big man. So the Rams take an early 2-0 lead here in the first quarter. Scott Peterson, like I mentioned, averaging 18 points per game. Wayne Hill, Scott Schultz definitely needs to do a great job containing him in this game. Schultz, pull-up jumper, no good. So the Rams push the ball up court, trying to get some tempo. Kicks it out to Van Hemmelen. Hemmelen, 4-3, no good. Tipped up there, rebounded by Patterson, back to Van Hemmelen. Hemmelen for three, no good again. Rebounded there by Travis Del Volpe. Del Volpe kicks it out to Lacarica. Lacarica, 4-3, no good, wide. The Patriots have to slow down the pace a little bit. Steve Lacarica, we all know that he could shoot the ball from deep, but he has to slow it down and look for a better shot. Lacarica pushes the ball up for the Patriots. Drives to his right. Lacarica trying to find the open man. Russo sets a pick. Lacarica to Schultz. Schultz to Russo. Russo, Della Volpe. Patriots trying to find the shot. Schultz, spin move down low, puts it up, knocked away by Peterson, hit the Van Hemmelen. Hemmelen takes it up, puts up a driving layup, no good. Tipped around there. Rebounded back by the Rams. Weinberg grabs it. Weinberg, right there, foul on the play on Russo. The basket will count. Kevin Birdie goes to the line to complete the one of the three point play. Nice cut there by Kevin Birdie. I believe. It was Travis though, Opie and Scott Schultz went to double team in the corner. Birdie just cut to the hole and he was wide open. And now he gets to go to the line to complete the three point play. Birdie is a high scorer for Ramsey, averaging 14 points per game. Wayne Hills definitely needs to do a great job defense, guarding him on defense. Steve Lacarica needs to front him. Free throw is good, so Lacarica will push the ball up. This is a big game for both teams. Both teams struggling early in the league. Wayne Hills has a one and three league record, and Ramsey also has a one and three league record. Del Volpe to Lala, Lala puts it up. Might have got a block there. So the ball will be taken out of bounds for the Patriots. Good ball movement in the early going by Wayne Hill. Steve Lacarica finding Travis Del Volpe, then to Chris Lala who just couldn't finish. But Wayne Hill's great ball movement in the early going. Lacarica, 4-3. Shots off, rebounded there by Lala. Lala puts it up, no good. Rams trying to push it. There to Birdie, Birdie puts it up. That is good. Patriots take an early timeout here. We're here in the first quarter, 5 5 remaining, 7-0. The Ramsey Rams. Wayne Hills has to get back on defense and transition. That time, Travis Elvope was the only guy back, and even he got beat down the floor for the easy layup. Ramsey, they're moving the ball well in transition, and they're getting layups. Wayne Hills, they're settling for too many outside shots, and they have to push the ball inside more, and they have to get some more offensive rebounds to keep 
some of these offensive possessions alive. Also, an interesting note, Dave, about this Wayne Hills team is that Brian Ogden, who was in the starting lineup for most of the games, averaging seven points per game, is not in the starting lineup. Coach Catalano wanted it more size in the starting lineup. So he's going with the junior, Chris Lala, the power forward. And on that last drive, I don't know, he didn't have his feet set. If I were Chris Lala on that last drive, when he got that rebound off the Scott Schultz missed shot, should have went strong, tried to go for the and one, but unfortunately he didn't. So Wayne Hills needs to get it going here in the first quarter. Well, maybe on that last play by Chris Lala, maybe a pump fake and then go up and try to draw a foul. But I'm, I believe it was the last possession when he went up and the ball went high in the air. I'm not so sure. I think maybe he was fouled on that play. It looked like he may have gotten hit on the hand or the wrist. I don't know if you could hear the crowd noise, but the rarest of a nice faithful here that traveled from Ramsey, New Jersey. Lagarica takes it up for the Patriots, coming out of the timeout. Looking for the man. Gives it up to Russo. Russo dribbling. Lagarica passes up the three. Goes up to La 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 La. Shot no good. Rebounded there by Schultz. Schultz puts it up. Fouled on the play there by Peterson. So he will go to the line for two. So that's what I'm talking about, what Wayne Hills needs to do. When they get an offensive rebound, they need to go up strong. And that's what Scott Schultz did right there, averaging 14 points per game and 14 rebounds. A strong player down low for the Patriots. Schultz's first shot is good. So the Patriots get on the board here in the first quarter. Cuts the deficit to six. Schultz's second shot on the way. Shot is good. Stolen there by Lala. Taken back by the Rams. That's a travel. And Hemelin travels. So now it will be Patriot ball. That will be the inbound to Schultz. Like Rika takes it up for the Patriots. Look for the Patriots to go down low like last possession. Try to get to the basket and get some points. Like Rika. Trying to find Russo. To Schultz. Schultz drives, puts it up. No good. Rebound there by Lala. Lala puts it up. He's blocked there by Peterson. Rams trying to push it. Basket made there by Clint Lynch. So now the Rams take a 9 2 lead. Lakarika trying to get the Patriots back into the game. Lakarika trying to find the open man. Dribbling around a little bit. Gives up to Schultz. Schultz back to Lacarica. Pump fake by Lacarica. He drives to the hole. Good. Good move there by Lacarica to get his defender in the air and to drive to the basket. Good Those are the types of plays that are really going to work effectively for the Wayne Hills Patriots. Everyone knows Lacarica is a threat from three point land. But if he could pump fake, he'll draw the defender in the air and then with his speed, he could get to the hole and get an easy bucket. Blocked there by Russo. So now the Patriots have a little momentum on their side. The Volpe to Lacarica. Lacarica drives, puts it up. No good. Rebound there by the Rams. Thrown out to Hurdy. And Kevin Birdie puts it up there. Kevin Birdie running the fast break very well in this game. Coach Cat is not too happy on the sidelines. Wayne Hills needs to do better setting up their flex offense and their motion offense. They're rushing. They're not in sync so far. It's 11-4 as we see Jeremiah Kale and Brian Ogden coming into the game as well as Justin Horhan. Lacarica, Lacarica del Volpe, and Joe Russo coming out of the game for the Patriots. So I guess Coach Catalano is looking for more speed, especially on defense, where the Rams are definitely beating Wayne Hills on the court after getting those defensive rebounds. So 11 to 4 here, 246 remaining here in the first quarter. The Ramsey Rams are leading the Wayne Hills Patriots. And Hemelin to inbound to Weinberg. Weinberg looking. Gives it up. To Birdie. Birdie drives. Throws up an awkward shot. Gives it back to Peterson. Peterson boxes it out. The man rebound there by Lala. Horhand pushes the ball up the court for the Patriots. That's a shot that Scott Peterson will look back at and say, I should have made that shot. He had two mismatches down low and he just couldn't make the shot. 
Ryan Ogden, 4-2, that is good. As Hoare handed a nice job of finding the open man. Great shot there by Brian Ogden. He saw he had an opening, he hesitated at first, but he still had enough time to drain the open shot. Peterson down low, that is good. So a good job by the Rams to force the pick and roll on that play. I'm trying to find the words. Wayne Hills needs to fix their 2-3 zone. They have a huge mismatch down low. Peterson, Justin Horahan, about a six inch height advantage there. Got to fix that on defense for Wayne Hills. Checking into the game for the Rams, Nobi Yamanashi. So the Rams going with their usual short man rotation. Lacarica comes in for Della Volpe. Actually, Lacarica made a mistake. He gets set the scores table and yeah. wait for the next time out. Pearson, back to Yamanashi. Yamanashi put it up. Rebounded there by Lynch. Schultz, Talala. Great Talala hustle play there by Scott Schultz to save the ball from going out of bounds. And now Wayne Hills, they have to look to go inside and try to get some penetration to the basket. Ogden, good drive there by Brian Ogden. He puts it up for the basket, so the Patriots cut the deficit to five. Let's talk about Brian Ogden for a second, guys. This is his first year, he was injured all year. Had a tore, tore left ankle. And now in his first season on the varsity level, he's just doing great. Like I said, averaging seven points per game and has four points here in the early going, guys. Well, I played with Brian Ogden at a PAL basketball camp for two days until I broke my pinky. Yes, I did used to play basketball, but I'm retired now. And I really like Brian Ogden's game. He played good defense, he was quick. And while he could shoot the long jumper, he knew when to take shots and when to give up the shots. And he's also very good at driving to the hole. But last year, if he did play, he definitely would have been on varsity. Like I said, they ha this, his class has a lot of talent. I know they have a lot of sophomores on the team. They're a young team. They're going to be learning. And Brian Ogden is a big part of that nucleus. Russo set the check back in for the Patriots. So Lacarica takes it up for the Patriots. To Schultz. Schultz trying to find the open man. Schultz to Ogden. Ogden back to Kale. Jeremiah Kale. Gets a stolen there by Yamanashi. Yamanashi, foul there by Kale as he wrapped around. So now Russo set the check back in. Russo's checking in, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. Let's talk about the strong bench that Wayne Hills has. They have a lot of depth at the skilled positions. Robbie Peterson and Brian Ogden, two sharpshooters that come off the bench. As we see Joe Russo check back into the game, as you mentioned, Andrew. Birdie, birdie, puts up a shot. Ball will be Patriot in favor of the Patriots, as the possession now is in favor of the Rams. 15.9 seconds remaining here in the first quarter of action. Ramsey leading the Patriots 13 to eight. Lacarica settling for the last shot. Melting down the clock, kicks it to Ogden. Ogden, 4-3, no good. Rims out. Last second opportunity here for the Rams. As the time runs down here in the end of the first quarter here at the Gifford Gymnasium, the Ramsey Rams are leading the Wayne Hill Patriots 13-8. David, thoughts on the first half of that? Well, Wayne Hills is pretty lucky that they were only down by five points so far. First of all, they have not played good transition defense. They have turned over the ball. And while sometimes they've taken good shots, there have been other times where they've settled too easily for three-pointers. So right now, they're only down by five. They have a lot of good outside shooters. If they could get some of their shots to fall, they could capture this lead. Um, I, I got to say, watching the game in the first quarter, I can't believe Hills is actually in this game after the download presence that Ramsey has with the one, the number 51, who's overpowering Scott Schultz right now. But uh, Wayne Hills is sticking in it with their outside game and Brian Ogden just stepping up off the bench. Also, guys, another factor, rebounding. Ramsey's obviously a taller team and that's really helping them in the rebounding department. While Wayne Hills has gotten some offensive rebounds, they have not been able to put the shots back up and get points. And when Ramsey's been on offense, Ramsey's been getting a lot of offensive rebounds, and with their big guys down low, that's translating to a lot of points for the Rams. 
Absolutely, gentlemen. That is the, the other voice you heard besides David was Sean Yu, who's coming in for Jason Wallenfont in the second quarter, and I believe the fourth quarter as well. So you'll hear a little bit of our third announcer, Depp. Tonight's trivia question, did not know we had one, is brought to you by Wayne Hills High School. Study hard and get good grades. The question is, who scored the game-winning basket to give Wayne Hills the victory against Rampo back in the season opener? We'll get back to that. Andrew, Lacarica. you know I'm always prepared. Lacarica to Schultz to Ogden. Ogden dribbles to his left, puts it back to Lacarica. Lacarica trying to find his open man to Schultz. Schultz, pull-up jumper is good from the free throw line, so the Patriots pull it in three. Scott Schultz, he has that range from the outside, so when he could try to fake towards going to the hole, he could bring the ball back and take the shot. Lynch, 4-3 is good. So the Rams answer right back with a three-pointer of their own as they take a 16-10 lead. That's what Scott Schultz has to do. Instead of going down low, after you saw before with the block, he has to step out and hit the jumpers to get the points on the board. Schultz kicks it to Ogden. Ogden to Russo. Russo to Lacarica. Lacarica for three, really deep. Off, off mark. Rams trying to push it. Another foul call to reach in on Jeremiah Kale. That is his second in the early going. Lala set the check back in for him. Lynch. Weinberg kicks it to Lynch. Lynch drives. Down low to Peterson, who's getting triple teamed. He's fouled there. I Lyle. believe it. Chris Could Lala. be on Joey Russo. Or Lala, I'm not sure. We'll get the call. It was on Lala, that's his second. Wayne Hills cannot afford to get in foul trouble, especially with the big guys, Scott Schultz and Chris Lala, because Wayne Hills does not have much in terms of size off their bench. And this Ramsey team is pretty tall, especially their center, Scott Peterson, who's now at the line. And the one factor is if Scott Schultz gets fouled, they really have no one else except Chris Lala, who's, who's not as tall as Scott Peterson. Lacarica drives to his left, gets a pick from Lala. Lack gives it up to Schultz. Schultz, jumper no good off mark. Schultz gets his rebound, puts it up and drives. Still no good. Fast break for Clint Lynch. Lynch puts it up, that is good. So the Rams extend their lead to 19-10 here in the second quarter. In order to win basketball games, you have to make shots around the basket. Wayne Hills has just been missing too many shots around the basket, and then they're not getting back on defense. That's basically a four-point turnaround right there, and Ramsey is getting a lot of easy buckets so far in this game. Lacariga gets contact, he puts it up, that is good. Wayne Hills would have been, would have been at least tied if they made those couple of shots around the basket that Chris Lala missed and that Iowa missed before. Good play there by Joey Russo to strip the ball as Lacarica takes it up the court. Lacarica puts it up, that's no good. Peterson rebounds quickly to Weinberg. Weinberg looks to the left side to Yamanashi, to Weinberg. Weinberg, shots no good. Rebounded there by Yamanashi. See, that was Van Hamel. And Weinberg shot no good. Rebound by Peterson. Peterson puts it back up. Still no good. Peterson makes the shot and gets a foul call. So he will go to the line for one more to complete the three-point play. When Weinberg drove to the hole, somebody has to step up and contest it. He almost made that shot, but then Scott Peterson has just been a beast down low, and he's getting a lot of offensive rebounds, and he's making a lot of baskets right around the basket. They had, they had at least four Wayne Hills defenders on Scott Peterson, and he still got the he still got the foul after Brian Ogden swatted him. Macarica with the Patriots down by ten puts up an off balance shot. Thought he got a foul there. Birdie takes it up. Birdie showing that he's elusive on the fast break. So another timeout called by the Patriots as the Rams take the 24 to 12 lead. Coach Jim Catalano, he is a coach that commands effort. Hustle, 
smart basketball, defense, and teamwork. And right now, Wayne Hills, they're just not getting the job done. They have to work the ball around, they have to get better shots. When they come down the floor, I know there's no shot, there's no shot clock in high school basketball. So they can take however long they want in order to get a good shot. They have to control the ball more. Rams is just totally, to be honest with you, right now Ramsey's running Wayne Hills out of the gym right now because Ramsey's getting a lot of baskets in transition and they're playing a very solid basketball game so far. Wayne Hills has to get back on defense and they cannot allow any more easy baskets if they want a chance to come back in this game. That was four possessions for Ramsey on a fast break after Lacarica had a stupid shot. On a shot he could have just went outside and passed it out for an easier shot instead of going up for a crazy layup. We saw the Ogden, Ogden in the corner for three. No good, rebound there by Schultz. Schultz back up. It is good, so the Patriots cut the deficit to eight. Ten, actually. Wayne Hills, maybe they're gonna show a little pressure here, as you saw the Patriots guarding the Ramsey Rams in their backcourt. They have been playing good defense, but not connecting on the fast break down low. Locked there by Brian Ogden, great defensive play as Peterson had an almost open shot. But he was blocked from behind. It could have been a foul. Weinberg kicks it. Back to Weinberg. Kick there to Lynch. Weinberg to Birdie. Birdie taken there by Schultz. Schultz kicks it to Lacarica. Lacarica trying to find his dribble. Talala, Caruso. Caruso was game denied consistently the whole day. Down low to Schultz. Schultz puts it up, no good. Trying to be pushed up by the Rams. Birdie. Weinberg. To Lynch, Weinberg. Yamanashi. Down low to Peterson. Puts up a shot, he is fouled. That'll be on Schultz. So that's Scott's second foul, which isn't bad in this point in the game, I, I guess you could say. But Scott Schultz has to stay out of foul trouble because he's the biggest player on the Wayne Hills Patriots, and they need him to go up against Peterson. But one thing the Patriots should also try to do is set some screens for Joey Russo. Because when Joey Russo is on fire, that is what really makes the Patriots go. Because Joey Russo could really rack up points quickly if he's on. And now Scott Schultz is coming out of the game to catch a bit of a rest and Jeremiah Kyle will take over. But another point about Scott Peterson, talking to Ravi Peterson in lunch before the game, he told me that Scott Peterson isn't a versatile player. He just gets the ball down low and just puts it up. He can't shoot it outside. He can't do anything else. So if they if they get him out of the zone, I think Wayne Hose could come back. Like Arika is off the mark again. As he's shooting his deep three-pointers, Lynch, birdie up the court. Birdie gets absolutely smacked down there by Brian Ogden. So he will go to the line for two shots. For the people watching at home, Brian Ogden did not try to do any damage on that foul. He just, he thought that the player was going to maybe fake and then he tried to go for the block. He's just playing but aggressive good job, defense. Good job there by Brian Ogden to get back on defense. Birdie's first shot is good. Travis Del will be checking back in for the Patriots for Ogden. That's I know Ogden did not mean to hurt anyone, but I'm a little surprised they didn't call a flagrant on that play. I, I don't know. I don't know what the rules are for fouls. But watching Ogden play in the past games, he's he's an aggressive defense defensive player. I mean, he'd go up for any uh, jump balls, but I mean that's that's textbook Ogden right there. Lacarica drives blocked there by Peterson, stolen back. By Del Volpe, Lacarica gets really high in the air. Kicks it to Kale. Kale's pass is stolen by Birdie. Oh, that's a travel. And a good call there by the referee as he, Dave Weinberg was walking, so a traveling violation is called. Steve Lacarica and Travis Del Volpe were a little frustrated on that last possession since they could not score any points, but good defense by both of them to force a turnover. Yeah, Wayne Hills hasn't been playing bad defense. I mean, they have a lot of steals. They just can't connect on the fast break or just offensively. Lacarica for three. Yes. Lacarica's first three pointer made today as the Patriots come within 11. He's going to start getting some confidence after that shot. 
Steve Lacarica, he's the big scorer for this Wayne Hills team along with Joey Russo and Scott Schultz. So if he could get going, the Patriots will have a chance in this game. Peterson, essentially dominating under the glass, gets another basket as the Rams take a 30 to 17 lead. Lacarica, another three point shot off the mark, rebounded by Lala, Lala bumped, no foul called, now fouls finally called on Peterson as Del Volpe will go to the line for two shots. The Patriots have to be more aggressive and try to get Scott Peterson in foul trouble. Scott Peterson has absolutely dominated down low, both on offense and defense, and if they, they could get Scott Peterson out of this game, that's when Wayne Hills will have a good chance to make their run. I mean, Lacarica had a nice three, but you can't go back to hitting another three and missing wildly after just Lacarica hasn't been thinking in this game. He's just been hitting stupid shots and none of them have gone in. He's he's like three for 20 something. Not 20 something, it's not that many. <laughs> it, it seems like it's untouched. Birdie takes it up the court. On the fast break, misses the layup. Del Volpe, I thought he got smacked there. I don't know about that. Now they call a foul there on Russo. So Van Harmelin will go to the line for two shots. Going back to that last possession, great defense there and great hustle by Jeremiah Kyle to get back. I know Jeremiah, they're not gonna block on that play, but he forced the Ramsey Rams to miss that layup. But as for Travis Del Volpe, the next time when he grabs the ball, grabs the ball with both hands, put your elbows out so no one tries to steal the ball, and then just wait for the players to get down the court and then start everything up. Wayne knows he's just too excited to get out in the fast break instead of just holding the ball and using even though it's not a shot clock, but using a lot of time instead of just going fast break and shooting. Lacarica finds Lala. Patriots down by 15 now. Russo trying to get a shot off. Not been get, gotten a lot of room. Kale down low to Lacarica. Lacarica driving. Puts it up. And they call foul. Yes, and that man. will count. So he will go to the line for one shot. Steve Lacarica has been very efficient driving to the hole today. If he could drive more to the hole, he will definitely get a lot more points. But as for Joey Russo, he just hasn't found the open shots and he's played a smart game on offense. He hasn't forced anything. But once they can get him going and get him open, he will get on fire. Yeah, Lacarica is just making something out of nothing because great defense by Ramsey holding Joey Russo to no points right now. And it, once he gets hot, the Wayne Hills has a chance. Lacarico's free throw is good. So Ramsey will inbound, getting pressure by the Patriots. Press coming for the Patriots. They're gonna call a reach and foul on Jeremiah Kale. Ramsey coach getting really, he's fired up. I think that's the assistant coach actually, assistant, the head coach. I mean, I don't know. Quite frankly, I don't think you should act like that in high school sports, especially for a, a league basketball game. I don't know that could Well, I don't know what he could be so upset about. Ramsey's playing a pretty good game to me so far. They could especially that, getting a lot of That could raise your blood pressure and potentially the strokes and heart attacks, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Andrew, before the first half ends, the trivia question. Oh. The answer. Those fans have been waiting basically years to hear oh, the been, Good heads up, Santo. They've been really waiting for it. The question was, after this free throw, off. Rebound there by the big Roos. Got a couple stories about Russo to tell you. But anyway, that crazy question was, who scored the game-winning basket in the season opener versus Rampo? That was Steve Lacarica, the sophomore point guard, on the driving layup. Lacarica drives to the hole, makes the layup. So now the Patriots pull within 12 with 117 remaining here in the half. Rams break the press. Put up a layup there by Yamanashi, so that's good. Joey Russo trying to throw the charge on that last play. Russo has to step up a little bit if he wants to throw the charge because he won't get the call right under the basket. So now Steve Lacarica is playing very smart basketball. He's driving to the hole, trying to get easy baskets, and right there, trying to dish it to an open teammate, Travis Del Volpe. Russo, 4-3. No good. Russo's been cold because he has not taken any shots today. But that was a smart shot to take there by Joey Russo. It was a smart shot, but Steve Lacarico was hanging on the other side of the court wide open. So if somebody, Travis El Volpe could have given him a look, 
because he was wide open on that whole side. Well, Joey Russo was pretty wide open too, so basically it was Travis Lopez's choice and he chose Joey Russo. But either option would have been fine. I mean, good choice by Travis because you gotta get Russo hot. I mean, that was his first shot. I mean, most likely he's gonna miss it. But second shot, I hope it's gonna go in. Because Russo, once he gets hot from the from behind the arc, he's he's unstoppable. As Steve Spazanti checks into the game for Joey Russo, maybe for defensive purposes, I really have no idea. Speed, uh, three-point shooting, no. Well, Joey Russo's yeah. probably. It's for speed. Steve it's for speed. The best Joey Russo's probably the best three-point shooter in the Northeast. So, Lacarica kicks it to Del Volpe. Del Volpe, 4-3, no good. Brought up there by Weinberg. Rams up by 15. And there by Yamanashi. Yamanashi. Gives it up there. Rams are taking Lynch. their time. Kicked it there. Lynch to Peterson. Nine seconds remaining here in the first half. Weinberg getting pressed toward the top. Great defense he by Wayne Hills. Ogden. And a foul, foul there. It's foolish foul there on Scott Peterson. His time was winding down with only 1.7 seconds remaining. Well, Russo getting ready to check back in for a quick three-point shot. Well, Ramsey is not in the penalty, so Wayne Hills will have a side out here. That was excellent defense by Wayne Hills. Russo puts up the shot. Oh, no good. Good look there by Russo. Good move. To Great find. pass there by Travis Lovopoli to find Joey Russo, but the shot just didn't fall. But the Gipper would have gone nuts if Russo made that shot. I mean, Joe Russo doing what he can with, I don't know how many seconds left, but just. Technical foul called, I believe. I don't know if it's on John Goldstein or Jim Cattell. That's it's on John Goldstein. It's on John foul. Goldstein. As Goldie hears some tears of support from the Gifford faithful. Goldie, a fan favorite. Made there by Lynch. These are just bonus points. So this is two shots for Ramsey. This could be very costly for Wayne Hills. Lynch's second shot is off the mark. Two more. As there was, an, there, I think there was another technical before. Another I think technical. Ramsey gets the pick which players shoot. So they will send Birdie to the line. So Wayne Hills could be down by 18 after this. Birdie's first shot is off. Birdie's second shot is good. So we will head into halftime here at the Gifford Gymnasium as the Way Ramsey Rams are leading your Wayne Hills Patriots 38 to 21. Guys, thoughts on the first half? Well, Wayne Hills, they really had trouble getting back and playing defense in transition. Ramsey, they just dominated. Scott Peterson has had an absolute fantastic game so far. The guards have done a great job penetrating to the hole and finding Peterson open. And then also, Wayne Hills, they've been getting offensive rebounds, but they have not been able to make shots around the basket. Steve Lacarica has done a much better job getting to the hole, and he's starting to heat up a little bit. Hey, Wayne Hills hasn't been playing bad. I mean, great defense, not so, not so good offense, but if they keep in this game, I mean, keep making shots, give it to different people, give it different looks, I think Wayne Hills has a chance to come back. And that will be it for the first half of action, guys. We will be back for the second half of action. The Wayne Hills Patriots are losing to the Ramsey Rams 21-38. Down against the Ramsey Rams 38 21. I am Andrew Guy alongside me, David Suntup, and Jason Alfon. Kick there to Lynch. Lynch to Birdie. Birdie. Back to Lynch. Lynch drives. Kicked it out to Weinberg. Down low there to Peterson. Birdie puts it up, blocked there by Lala and Russo. Kicked out there to Lacarica. Lacarica ran the tempo. To Lala. Lacarica. Drives to his right side. To Lala. Down low to Del Wolpe. Schultz. Puts it up. No good. So the Rams will take it up with Weinberg. Takes it out there. Lynch. 
Lynch drives, puts it up. No good. Lynch puts up again on the second chance and scores as the Rams take a 40 to 22 lead. Someone has to get out there and box out Quinn Lynch. Quinn Lynch just had an easy offensive rebound and then when you give him an opportunity for second chance points, he will convert. Russo had a nice drive there. Birdie puts it up no good. Lala grabs the rebound. Good job there by Lala to poke the ball away and then come up with the rebound. Wayne Hills on offense needs to do a good job of setting up their offensive schemes, their motion plays, their flex offensive plays, because in the first half, they looked like they were rushing a little bit. I think Coach Cat should have their offense take their time and they'll find the open man to score baskets. Andrew, the one thing I do not understand is how Ramsey is only one in three in the NBA this year. Well, in the NBA overall, as usual, puts up the three is no good. And overall, or in the in well, their overall division? they are three and three, but they're one and three in the NBA and they play in the weakest division because due to the realignment this year, Ramsey is in a division with Bergenfield, Mawa, and Passac Hills. Even though Passac Hills could be the best team in the NBA out of all three divisions. Well, Mawa is not a bad team, and Bergenfield is getting there. So I could well, Mawa's see Mawa's average. Mawa's average, and Bergenfield's getting there. They're still not there yet, but I mean. I don't know. I mean, you know, you got to play the games. And the MBIL, as we all know, it's usually tough in every sport that they play. I mean, as Lacarico puts up a three here, it's no good. Rebound there by Lala. They're going to call a foul on Birdie there. But no, Dave, I mean, I can, I, I'm not shocked. I mean, I'm not sure who the other team was that Ramsey lost to. But look who the Patriots. The Patriots won on opening night versus Rampo and have not got close to a win since. So. Well, Altapan won the North one Group 3 state sectional title last year, so Old Japan will always feel the competitive team and Northern Highlands has a lot of height. And also this Patriots team is very young. I believe they have seven or eight sophomores on their varsity team. They're a very young team. Three of them on the floor right now. Three pointer there. No good. Taken by Lacarica trying to run the break. Lacarica pushing it. To Ogden, Ogden for three, no good. Rebound there, Lala, Lala, put back, no good again. Ogden puts it up, no good, no love from the rim today. Rebound there by Pearson to Weinberg. Patriot ball now on the turnover, good defense there by Lala. Andrew, Dave, are you guys surprised that sophomore Robbie Peterson has yet to enter the game? He's a sharp shooter. Good quickness on the court. Are you surprised that he's not playing? I'm well, not surprised because he's not in the usual rotation by Coach Catalano. He, Coach Cat usually keeps the same players in there for the most of the time and has usually two to three guys off the bench. So, Robbie Peterson's very good. I'm not taking that away from him, but it's a very deep team, I guess you can say. Well, the Patriots have a surplus of guards as Scott Schultz puts it up off the glass and the foul, so Scott Schultz has a chance for a three-point play. But getting back to what I was saying, the Patriots have a surplus of guards. Also, they have Justin Horahan, who saw limited action. Jeremiah Kale, who's the sixth man. For, well, I don't know if he's the sixth man now, but he was before until Brian Ogden, I believe, is the sixth man now. So they have a surplus of guards, and it's really tough to get in for Robbie. Well, at least for Robbie Peterson, it's tough to break that rotation for Coach Cat. Shot there by Lynch is good. Good looking shot there by Lynch as the. Rams extend their lead to 19 points. Clint Lynch showing his versatility. You saw it before, getting his offensive rebound, they're putting it off the glass for two, and then just now, during the outside jumper. Lynch has a nice soft touch, has eight points so far in this game. Actually, now he has 12. That was eight points in the first half. Press now from the Patriots as the Rams break it easily. Three-pointer here by Van Hemmelen. No good, Van hemlin has been off the whole day. Lacarica takes it up for the Patriots. Trying to find a room to run. To Schultz. Schultz to Lala. To Lacarica. Intended for Schultz. Lacarica picked it up. To Volpe to Lac. To one of the Schultz. Schultz drives against Peterson. And it will go out of bounds on Schultz, so it will be Ramsey Ball. Jeremiah Cowell checking in for Brian Ogden. 
The thing that is killing Wayne Hills right now, and Coach Cat is telling Brian Ogden, giving him a face full on the bench right now, is turnovers. They're turning the ball way over too much. And you're not going to win a game when you turn over the ball a lot in the basketball. Chris Lala just got knocked to the floor by Clint Lynch. I really don't know how a foul wasn't called. Shot there by Weinberg is good. So the Rams take a 21 point lead, 46-25 here with 3.22 remaining in third quarter. Lacarica's three is no good. Lacarica having an off shooting day, as well as the whole Patriots team. But the Rams have done a really great job of containing Joe Russo. I mean, they have not given him a lot of shots. I believe he has three shots, he's 0 for three. He's not gotten a lot of opportunities to touch the ball. They're doing a good job of containing him. You knocked it right on the button, Andrew. As you said, off shots before. Lacarica and Joe Russo, the two sharp shooters, have been off shooting. As we see Travis, Fouled on a three-point attempt. Not a smart foul there by Tim Van Harmelen. When Travis Elbopi is shooting a three, while Travis has a good percentage from, actually they're calling the foul on the floor now. I, I really don't understand the call. Travis was definitely hit after the shot. I'm sure uh, Mr. Van Harmelen is pretty happy and he, he, he's off the hook now. He got a break. No, oh, that was... Uh, the NJSIA has to consider this officiating group because I've seen some calls that have not been called today as the shot there is made by Lacarica to cut the deficit. Taking up there. Peterson to Lynch. Turned over there by the Rams. Oh, and they're going to say it hit a Patriot player. Not a smart play there by Clint Lynch because number 10, David Weinberg, was wide open right by the basket and he had a clear path to a layup. Call foul there on Lacarica. So here come the Rams. Yabayashi takes it up. Takes it there. It's out of bounds. Joey Russo checks back in for Chris Lala. Ramsing's doing the smart thing on offense. They're eating up the clock. They have a big 19 point lead. I know their coach doesn't want to blow this lead here and let Wayne Hills get back into it. So they're taking their time on offense, running their plays and finding the open man like a real team should do. Peterson puts it up and is good as the Ramsey Rams keep carving up this zone defense by the Wayne Hills Patriots. And on that play, Clint Lynch just drove to the hole and Scott Scott came up and Clint Lynch just bounced past it down low to Peterson and Peterson put off the glass. Lacarica puts it up to three, no good. Rebound there by Del Volpe. Russo gets fouled and the shot is good. So Russo will go to the line, gets on the scoreboard today as the Patriots cut the lead to 48-27. A thing that Joe Russo has been working on through the offseason is developing as a, his, himself as a low post player. Last season, many people considered him only a three-point shooter, a person that hangs around the three-point line. But the, this season, he's developed himself on the block and is a good low post presence for the Wayne Hills Patriots. Russo to take the one foul shot. Russo's shot is good. So the Patriots cut the lead, 48-30. As you're starting to see with the Patriots offense, when they are aggressive and try to get down low and get easy baskets, they are being very successful in getting easy baskets. But when they try to take too many three-pointers, that's when the shots don't fall, and they are not getting a lot of offensive opportunities in terms of second chance points. Ramsey stole a play from the Wayne Hills offensive playbook there, running the flex, but to no avail. Shot made there by the Rams. I don't know why there was no foul called there on Lacarica. Well, on the defensive player on Lacarica. Steve Lacarica, he's a little frustrated right now about the no call, but in that type of situation, you have to forget about the call. You just have to go on with the game. That's happened to me a number of times. And I know it's frustrating, but after the foul's not called, you're not going to be able to argue and get it overturned. You just have to go out there and play. As Lacarica does get the foul call there, and he'll be going to the line for two. 
The big thing in this game, guys, has been the Ramsey center, Scott Peterson. In the first half, he was a dominant presence down on the block, and Scott Schultz just needs to front him, or Wayne Hill should double team him, because they can't let one person beat you. If you're gonna let someone beat you, let it be someone else besides Scott Peterson for Ramsey against Wayne Hills. Margarita take two shots for the Patriots. First shot, no good. The second shot is good. As Del Volpe checks in. The Ramsey Rams really have a faithful at this game. I guess they travel with the team to their away games. Guys, I really wish there was a faithful here for the Patriots in the Gifford Gymnasium. The Gifford Gymnasium is a very sacred place. There have been many good teams here at Wayne Hills. I think Mr. Askelis and maybe Jim Catalano really need to work on getting a faithful here in the Gifford. Maybe a band playing some trumpets and saxophones. Maybe like a fan group like the Cameron Crazies at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Because we really need a faithful here in the Gifford. Well, unfortunately, Dave, it's not North Carolina. It's only high school, so can't get much of a faithful here. Well, Jason, look behind you. That's a faithful chanting defense, trying to spur their Ramsey Rams. Russo for three is off again. He's having trouble to find his groove. 18 seconds remain here in the third quarter. The Rams lead the Patriots 50 to 31. Peterson and one. So he will go to, to the line for shooting one shot. Complete the three point play. Scott Peterson is just a strong and physical presence down low for Ramsey. The, their guards keep feeding him, and he doesn't miss when he's down on that block and one for Peterson. The only thing I wonder is how come the Patriots are double teaming Scott Peterson and playing man? Because the Ramsey Rams are carving up the Patriots' zone defense. Wayne else should maybe try a man to man defense. They have to give Ramsey a different look. Uh oh. As the last second desperation shot is no good. At the end of three quarters here at the Gifford Gym, the Ramsey Rams lead. The Wayne Hills Patriots 52-31. David, thoughts on the third quarter? Well, Ramsey, they still did a nice job. They got some points into their position, but they did a great job on defense, now allowing Wayne Hills to make their outside shots. And Wayne Hills, when they've penetrated, they have capitalized. They have to start penetrating more and try to get some easy baskets. But going into the fourth quarter with a 21-point lead for Ramsey, as long as Ramsey does not slack off on defense and they have good, long possessions, Ramsey should come out on top. I mean, Wayne Hills hasn't even been playing that bad. It's just they haven't been connecting when they get on offense. Well, Wayne Hills, they really haven't played good defense, especially in transition, and they're taking too many three-pointers, and they're really not successful. I think Wayne Hills has probably made maybe two or three three-pointers the whole game. They've probably taken, I would say, maybe 15 or 20 threes. About. It's just Ramsey's a better team right now. I mean, oh, definitely. they've just been playing a lot better than Wayne Hills has been playing. Wayne Hills has sloppy mistakes. I mean, just... I mean, stupid turnovers, and Ramsey converted on them. Turnovers, like you said, Sean, a big part of the game. If you want to have any chance to come back in a game, you cannot turn the ball over. And Wayne Hills, when they had their opportunities to come back in the second quarter, they turned over the ball and basically handed points to the Ramsey Rams. Wayne Hills has got to step up, make a lot of buckets, you know, maybe from the arc, maybe down low, just, just stop Ramsey from scoring as much as they are. While we have a moment, any questions, comments, or suggestions, please email the Wayne Hills TV Club at waynehillstv at aol.com. Once again, that is waynehillstv at aol.com. Taking it there by Weinberg. Russo covering Weinberg. Uh, we have Kobayashi, have it. Yamayashi. Kobayashi, Kobayashi the, the hot, hot dog, dog eater. Yeah. Get confused. Yamanashi down low. Still there by Lala. Obayashi is a great hot dog, hot dog here, though. Not a smart pass there by Chris, Chris Daney. He, he was basically passing it to no one. The Wayne Hills Patriots are settling way too much for three-point shots. You gentlemen are correct. Great play there by Brian Ogden. Ogden had no one to pass it to, so he just hit it off the elbow of one of the Rams players. That's Good. called... Heart, determination, and hustle. Great heads part up. Of Brian Russo in the corner, no good. 
Put up there by the Rams. Bernie puts it up, is good. As the Rams extend their lead to 23 points. Another fast break bucket for Ramsey, you know. I mean, Wayne Hill's gotta stop that. Ogden driving baseline to Schultz. Good play there by Brian Ogden. Set up the fight to Schultz as the Patriots get ready for the press. <clears throat> nice pass there by Brian Ogden. He was double teamed, but he gave it off to Scott Schultz, who drove through the hole and put it off the glass. Scott Russo Schultz is pushing it. Russo, 4-3. No good again. On that play, after Joey Russo got that rebound, Travis Del Volpe was to the right on the wing. He should have tried to pass it to Travis in order to push the ball because Wayne Hills, they basically have, they really don't have too many points in transition in this game. Lynch drives baseline, puts up shot, no good rebound there by Birdie. Birdie takes it out. Nashi, short shot there, rebounded by Del Volpe. Travis Del Volpe takes it up to Russo. Russo back to Del Volpe. Schultz. Schultz. Drives. Finds the hole. No good. This just isn't a Joe Russo night. I mean, he'd be making those threes that he just they just shoots up, but I don't know what's wrong with Joe Russo tonight. Makarika checking in for the Patriots. Checking out is Del Volpe. And also Jeremiah Kyle checking out the next dead ball. Weinberg taking it out for the Rams. Shot there by Birdie is good. Makarika trying to push the ball up for the Patriots. Shot there by Russo. Is no good. Weinberg running it up to Lynch. Lynch puts it up. Is good. Rad is on here at the Gifford Gym as the Wayne Hills Patriots are leading. I mean, pardon me. The Rams are leading the Wayne Hills Patriots 58 to 33. Coach Cat clearing his bench as Jeremiah Kyle, Steve Cezanti, and Justin Horahan will check in. Another fast break point for Ramsey. That's that's all their that's all the points that Ramsey has been getting so far. Also, Eric Del Volpe and Robbie Peterson making their first appearances of the night. So we are going to see a very small team on the floor. Well, actually, Steve Sedanti and Justin Horahan are not coming into the game. Otherwise, there would be no one out there to cover Scott Peterson. Also, it's a fast it's a fast. Uh, lineup because you have Brad Peterson and Eric Del Volpe, who's both speed speed demons on the court. Kick there to Peterson. Peterson cross court to Eric Del Volpe. Shot there by Schultz. Peterson takes it out to Eric to Lacarica. On that last play, Robbie Peterson was open under the basket and Schultz was double him. I'm surprised Schultz didn't try to get the ball to Peterson. Shot there, rebounded by Eric Del Volpe. Peterson kicks it out to Schultz. Schultz drives, kicks it to Lacarica. Lacarica drives to Schultz. Schultz puts up a shot, no good. Rebound there by Peterson. Shots are just not falling for the Wayne Hills Patriots today. This is a team that takes a lot of deep shots. They rely on the three ball. And if they have an off shooting night like tonight, they will get blown out in a lot of games because they really rely on that three and they need to make those shots in order to be competitive. I mean, this lineup has been getting a lot of offensive rebounds so far because of their speed. And the Ramsey, Ramsey defenders can't handle the Ram I mean, Wayne Hill's offense. Peterson down low, knocked there by Schultz as he will go to the line for two shots. But the downside of the speedy offense is trouble down low. That's why the, that's why Ramsey had a good heads up and give it down to Peterson. Also, Ramsey is just breaking the zone. They're breaking the zone from the start, and then they're getting to the end of the zone, and that's basically a two-on-one where Scott Schultz is basically helpless down low because there's no one else who could help him out to contain Peterson and sometimes their other big man, number number 33, Clint Lynch. 
Peterson, second shot, Temp. No good, rebound there by Peterson. Eric Del Volpe, Tlacarica. Scott Schultz to Peterson. Peterson, 4-3. No good, rebound there by Kale. Schultz loses his dribble. Fast break here for the Rams. Peterson puts the tip back in, it is good. Even though Ramsey scored there, good hustle there by Robbie Peterson to get back on defense. But the other guys on the floor have to help Robbie Peterson out and get back on defense. That looked like a like a blocking call, but called back for charging. I don't know about that. I thought it was a blocking foul. Taken up there by the Rams, Birdie. To number 21, Tim Collins. Not no affiliation to Tim Collins, the guy that works for Channel 77. Matt Taylor and Rich Abdi checking in for the Patriots. As Lacarica and Schultz check out. So everyone on the Wayne Hills Patriots getting some action today. So the Patriots with the exception of Matt Taylor, have a pretty small team on the floor. So now Matt Taylor, as Ramsey knocks out a three, number 23, Tim, then Harmelin. So now Matt Taylor, who has not checked into the game yet, now has to cover Scott Peterson. That was the first uh, shot outside the arc for uh, Ramsey in, this, in, this, in the half. And then Harmelin actually has taken multiple shots as Collins makes the shot. Andrew, one player we have not seen for Ramsey yet. His nickname is Brian Scalabrini. Drew Gasser, I'm disappointed. Because in warm-ups, I said Brian Scalabrini and Drew just looked over at me and smiled. He looks exactly like Brian Scalabrini. Is he gonna call a travel there on Tim Collins who has real resemblance to Billy Joe Cumbert <laughs> from that commercial for the NBA draft. I believe it was the NBA game commercial. Yeah. Also, Tim Collins, he is the wizard of the chest bump. And during pregame introductions, giving all his teammates the chest bump. I wonder sometimes. About what? Just about how some of these players actually are on the basketball court. The mongoose, as they call them in the game. Exactly. <laughs> Good remembering there, Sean. The mongoose, Billy Joe Cumbert. Number 55, Omar Elmar. He's a big boy, too. The Rams got a lot of He's definitely a big, big guy. Actually. Big guys off the bench. Taylor. Matthew touches the ball to Eric Del Volpe. Down low to Taylor. To Abdi, Abdi, 4-3. No good. Rebounded there. Good hustle there by Rich Abdi. Kale getting all tied up, man. Kale and Peterson fighting for that loose ball. Good aggression there by Jeremiah Kale. Minute 45 remaining in the ball game. Actually, it isn't Peterson. It's Kevin Monahan, number 52. Look alike, different numbers. Thank you very much. You're totally correct, Sean. I was just totally wrong on that. I really thought Peterson was 52. They really do look alike. It, you could tell by the blue shirt number 52 is wearing, but for other than that, they look exactly alike. Well, Sean, what would I do without you today? <laughs> you know, words can't describe what I do without you right now. Kales. Sinks both shots as the Patriots will go into the press. And by Elamar to Joe Cumbert. So basically after Goal this for the Patriots. By Kale. Kale running the break. He's going to call a traveling violation. So now Ramsey will take the ball up. So Wayne Hills will travel to Hillsdale, New Jersey on Thursday, January 11th to take on the Indians of Passac Valley. And then after that, I think they might play Mala in between there and uh, they play Burnfield later on at the beginning of February. But there's really no gimmies here. They are going to have to play smarter basketball, more disciplined basketball, and they're really gonna have to work on their shooting and their defense if they wanna compete this year. 
because they're really falling behind in terms of states. After this game, they'll fall to one and six. And states for basketball is based on overall record, not just league record. And Wayne Hills plays in a very tough league to begin with, so they're digging themselves a little bit of a hole, but they will have to play better basketball in order to get out of that hole. They just play in a very big league. I mean, Ramsey has huge players, and uh, a lot of other, Northern Highlands has ginormous players. Peterson gets fouled there by Collins. Wayne Hills has seven sophomores on this team. And after this year, the only player that they are losing is Scott Schultz. So they will definitely have to replace his size down low after this year. Well, there's a young man at the freshman level by the name of Chris Fonte. Well, the freshman team is undefeated. Chris Fonte, Joey Brando. Joey Brando is a favorite of Wally World. Wally World always raves about Joe Brando's play. Joey Brando is just a very smart basketball player. He could shoot the tray, drive to the hole. I mean, the freshman team's just doing fantastic. And they have a good coach. Well, Wally World is working his magic back in basketball after taking a couple years off from the girls' team. Look it up there. I thought a travel should have been called there on Kevin Monahan, like but they got, they said no. So the basketball count, 48 seconds remaining here in the Gifford gym. Ramsey Rams blowing away the Wayne Hills Patriots. Taylor to Abdi. Abdi to Peterson. Peterson to Taylor. Peterson puts up a shot, airballs it. As Lala tries to save it, put it to the Rams. Even though Robbie Peterson didn't make the shot, that's the shot that he should take. He made a nice pump fake, he had a wide open shot from the elbow, he just couldn't make the shot. The players coming off the bench are very hesitant on taking a shot. I mean, very open, here comes Robbie Peterson. But also, Sean, it's hard when you were sitting on the bench for the whole game minus three minutes. So when you're sitting on the bench for 29 minutes and then you're asked to come into the game, you feel really cold and you feel like you haven't done anything. I, mean, I used to play basketball back in the day, and one time I missed a practice to go to a rec game. So Coach Silverman had me come off the bench. Larry, as he was known. I had to come off the bench for two games, actually. Ryan it's Ward not started easy. over you. Oh, yeah, right. Ward started <laughs> over me. Yeah, I, I was pretty upset when that happened. But then the next game... David Fox was the coach because Larry Silver couldn't make the game, so I had to come off the bench again. And, uh, let, let's let's just put it this way: I've had better days. And who hit? And who was the team's leading scorer back then? Joey Russo. Yes, he was. Joey, Joey Russo, Russo put up 46 in the playoff game against the Del Volpe twins. Del Volpe for three at the buzzer, no good. So, so we are here at. The end of the ball game. That is it from the Gibbonism as the Wayne Hills Patriots bow to the Ramsey Rams, 69-39. Guys, th thoughts on the game? Well, Wayne Hills, they just really couldn't get in a rhythm on offense. They took too many long shots. They didn't convert. When they drove through the hole, they were successful, but they didn't drive enough. And on the defensive end, the Ramsey Rams just did a great job running the fast break today, getting buckets in transition, and Scott Peterson was a one-man wrecking crew and totally dominated for Ramsey. The main factor for Ramsey and the Hills game is just the height difference. I mean, Scott Schultz is the tallest player on Hills, at least around 6'4", 6'3". And you, players on Ramsey, there's like two kids 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, and just strong players. You have a lot of people coming off the bench who are very strong. And they're also a fast team with many fast break points. But the main point is Wayne, Wayne Hills just couldn't defend against them. Against them. Yeah, it was just... By the way, just a note, that faithful was the JV team for Ramsey. It was not a faithful. Oh, my God. That, wow. they tr I just noticed that because those kids that were screaming are on they the left. floor right now. They're on the floor. And the Mongoose is playing for the JV oh, team. Well, maybe he starts the Mongoose. Well, that's it Let's from hope. the Gifford Gymnasium as the Wayne Hills Patriots bow to the Ramsey Rams 69-39. For David Somtup, Sean Yu, Bobby Gross, Kyle Katine. And also Jason Connor. Olfant. We don't know Connor's last name, though. Connor, last name unknown. I'm Andrew Gaio signing off. Have a great Connor evening, Peckham. ladies and gentlemen.